Uh, is it Becky Wright? Mm -hmm. Becky, if you would please come up and but come on up here real close to Greg because he's a little bit harder hearing than I am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not much, but just a little bit. Greg is. Thank you. Go ahead, yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you for letting me come and speak today. So, my name is Becky White, and I'm from Houston, Texas. And I'm coming on behalf of the Liberty County for the shelter here. Um, I volunteer at the Cleveland Shelter a year and six months ago, and a friend of mine showed me on Facebook an animal, and I said, what is that? And I said, it looks like a hyena. And she said, no, it's a dog, and it was scratching so the head and itching. So I said, I'm gonna go and get that dog. So to get to the to the vet, they're called in the patrol officer to get to the vet. So I said, what is going on up here at the Cleveland shelter, Cleveland Pound? And uh, a girlfriend of mine, a friend of mine that's in rescue, she said, you need to get with Brat and Lisa. She said, they are very involved up there. So I didn't really get to meet them at that time, but I kept going into the shelter. We got dogs out. And today we've gotten over 500 dogs out of the Cleveland shelter. And we have not euthanized one dog. Mm -hmm. So um, I met with the city manager up there and the chief of police. And Chief Broussard is wonderful with us. He helps us as he's coming to the town. We vaccinate the dogs. We've saved a lot of dogs. And um, so I met with the city manager. And in the, in the meeting, I spoke to him and I said, um, there's a lady that can, told me that up in the Liberty Counties, there is a, a disease called Brucellus canis, and it's a very serious disease, and it gets into the livestock, it gets into the, the, the environment, the, the land, and it's from dogs being stray and not being neutered and spayed, and it can be transmittable to humans. So she said, Beck, if there's three cases, there's going to be 50 cases. That was over a year ago. So without any uh, shelter or anything, we are the Cleveland shelter. And we do not have room for the influx of dogs that are in the, is in the community areas. And so that is a much needed thing. And um, another thing with the overpopulation of people, there's gonna be overpopulation of animals, correct? And so then now's really the time, it's gonna be a very big problem more than it is now. And so what I wanna mention is it's not what we need, but who. And you've got Brett and Lisa, you've got this is Houston. There's a lot of people and Brett and Lisa are a force to be reckoned with in the rescue world. And they can help partner with y'all in a facility for these dogs and um, you know make it work because we've done it and they've got a lot more experience than I have. So I would just love to see a facility up here and I'm doing this out of my heart for the county. I wanna see good things and I've never been here before, but this is a beautiful place when I was driving in here. I'd like to live here. So anyway, um, I just hope that the facility is able to be built for you guys to make, um, make your place even better than what it is. Okay. Thank you so much for coming, appreciate you.